Hi. Do you hear that dog? Anywho, hey guys, um, today, this f dog. Hey guys, hi, sorry, look, this is Future Mason coming at you, just giving you a quick reminder to don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Otherwise, the sleep paralysis demon that visits me in my sleep will also visit you in your sleep, and I'm sure he has some very choice words to say to you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But it would mean a lot if you subscribed, liked, and commented because there's so much more crazy stuff to do and to talk about on here, so... Without further ado, just go. Just go to the, just watch. Just watch. Okay. Yes, I am in the midst of a mental breakdown. Thanks for noticing. Today, I'm a little like down the dumps. Like, what better way to make me feel better than to dye my hair, or at least like tone it to get some of the silver back because it's fading. And I apologize in advance to all the boo booty. I apologize in advance to all the beauty gurus who I'm offending because I'm not gonna be wearing gloves and I'm definitely not gonna be doing it properly. So if this, if you're already offended, I'm sorry. You can click away. This isn't for you. But for everybody else. Today is going to be a story time mixed with dyeing my hair because why not? And today's story is going to be uh, how a celebrity blocked me on Twitter. So I obviously don't know what I'm doing. I've done this literally like probably twice in my life before. So I just remember the lady at the store telling me that I just need to like put like, if like, if it's half of this then like, a, then half of the other one maybe? I don't know. I'm just gonna cover it and just like see what happens. Why is this so hard to get out of the tube? How? How do people do this? Okay. I just gave myself like carpal tunnel syndrome trying to figure that out. That's not even that's not even half. Hold up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the top just bursts open, so that's fantastic. So we're done with this. So this is currently what we have right now. Now, I think she said pour like half of this. Oh, okay, that sounds nice. Okay, cool. So that's what that is. Which, that's about half of the other stuff. I don't know how to judge this. Anyways, that seems like it's good enough. Oh my god. It's so liquidy. I don't think this is gonna stick in my hair. Is it supposed to be this liquidy? Okay, okay, so it's getting better. It's getting a little bit thicker in consistency, so I think we're I think we're going somewhere. Honestly, I bought this so long ago, I really don't even know what exact color it's gonna be. I think it was like a dark silver, or it was either like a really, really light silver, so I could end up looking like an albino, or just like some hipster old person, you know? Yeah, that's kinda pretty though, that's kinda cool, but like, is it is it gonna bleach my hair? I don't know, I think it said it was a toner, I don't, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit, and we'll start with the story time. Okay, I need to tell first. Actually, I'm gonna take off my sweatshirt. Actually, no, wait, let's go, with, let's do it the cool way, okay? Let's do it the cool way. Okay, we're going to do that. Okay. I'm gonna put this towel around me real quick so I don't stand my clothes or anything else around me, which it will anyways, I guarantee it. Quick intermission, um, I have no mirror in front of me, just my camera and, and no gloves and no guidance, so... I just apologize in advance for how this is gonna turn out. Anywho, let's begin with the story. So honestly, it was probably about a, two years ago now, probably 2017. And I don't know if y'all know who S.E. Hinton is, but she was like popping back in the day. She was really, really popular for making the book or writing the book, The Outsiders, especially when she was in high school. So like, that was pretty cool, I guess. And I was obsessed with the book, The Outsiders. If y'all know what that is, that's like a really popular book from like the 80s, but it was like set in the 50s, okay? I'm sure most of you guys know what it is because like it was really popping and it was also turned into a movie and I'm sure a lot of you probably had to read it for like high school classes or like maybe middle school. I read it in elementary school, like my fifth grade teacher had us read that book. And for those of you who don't know, there's lots of violence and like smoking and shit in that book. So it's probably not the best idea to show it to a fifth grader, but my fifth grade teacher is also not the best fifth grade teacher. So. That explains it. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the backstory of like what it is and everything, now we can really just like delve into like what happened. So like I said, it was in early, I think like really early 2017, I just decided to read the book again because I thought it was a really, really good book and me and my best friend at the time were like, you know, let's just start like reading together because that's just what like good 17 year olds do, you know? So as we were rereading it, I found a Twitter group, and I don't have Twitter, 
but like, I have a Twitter. I don't use it, but I have a Twitter, if that makes sense. Wow, the difference already. I look stupid. So I found a Twitter group that talked about the book a lot and like to have discussions about the book a lot. And I'm like, oh, that's dope. I did not think people these days and roughly my age would care to talk or read about The Outsider since it's such an old book. I thought that, you know, that's just like a boring book that people read in high school, blah, blah, blah. But I was just like one of the weird kids who was like obsessed with it. So I decided to get on that Twitter group and also talk with the people. Cause you know, I like having a voice sometimes too. Only sometimes. And while I was on there, I found a conspiracy that the one of the main characters, Pony Boy, and the other main character, I forgot what his name is, but he was played by Ralph Macchio. Johnny. That's his name. His name was Johnny. So there's a conspiracy that Johnny and Ponyboy were in cahoots with each other, aka they were gay lovers. So I thought that was like a pretty cool conspiracy, you know? So I was like, screw it, like I'll go along with it and I'll like follow the post and like follow them and like see what's happening and like read up on it and like get to know more about it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like educated. And honestly, the more I read about it, the more it just kind of made sense. So I was like, oh dope. You know what, good for S.E. Hinton for like including gay culture into her book from like the 80s. That's so cool, you know, like good for her. Like, that's awesome. Until S.E. Hinton herself decided to enter the chat. And that is when all hell just decided to break loose. Now. I don't remember exactly what was said just because it was so, so long ago, but it was something along the lines of this. You can't say that any of my characters from The Outsiders are gay. That's, that's preposterous. Like, that would never happen. If I wanted it to be, then I would say that it would be in the book. But did you read that part in the book? No, you didn't read that part in the book. So obviously it didn't happen. And I was just kind of a little shook. So I was like, damn, S.E., like, Miss Hinton, like, calm down. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. Honestly, you're being kind of homophobic. And so obviously I decided to argue with her because, you know, obviously. And basically I was just saying, look, books are open for interpretation. Isn't the point of reading just to interpret it for whatever resonates with you and whatever you feel that it should be and however it speaks to you? Because I don't know about y'all, but that's how I read books. I like to keep myself very open-minded and not close down any possibilities for anything in any book. And let me tell y'all she did not like that response. Basically coming at me and like one other girl who like literally just liked my tweet and responded with something very very similar to what I said. And Essie Hinton was just not having it. And I'm just like, is she homophobic or something? I think she might be because you know what? Like, that is not how a true author should respond when a fan who has bought her book and bought her movie, which has made her millions, has their own interpretation on the book. And for those of y'all who don't believe me, I will gladly insert a screenshot right here. So that's how she handles people having an opinion and perspective on a book. She will block you. You know what, I would love to say maybe she was just having a bad day or something that day. But this took course over a couple of days and many Twitter discussions later, where I guess she just finally got fed up with an opinion and perspective, an interpretation of how somebody viewed her book, but no, she will block you. So don't have an opinion around S.E. Hinton, that is what I've learned. So now that I have made the biggest mess out of my hair possible, I'm gonna go sit and wait for it to dry, and I'll be right back, and we'll see how it turned out, and if it even made a difference at all. So, from this angle, it's like a nice Billie Eilish blue, right? And I somehow missed this entire side of my head. Which, I don't know how that happened, considering I literally put it everywhere like this cool blue you know what i mean chill it's lit it's it's like pretty much exactly how i want it to turn out looks great and then we go to this side and i don't know what happened but i mean i don't hate it i guess i can make it work somehow i mean it's a it's a statement guys if you've made it this far go in the comments below and what do you think do you think i can make this work do you think this is like a new thing like a, a nice like billy eilish blue to like urinated gray silver If you're wondering why I changed shirts is because before I took a shower, 
I got bleach. This blue, silvery, apparently it's blue. I thought it was silver. I thought the box said silver. Hold up. The box literally says a silver pearl. Pearl? Pearl. Maybe th this is closer to silver pearl than this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time and learned something. What's today's lesson, Mason? What's today's lesson? I guess read instructions, do it better, use a mirror. I don't know. Today's, you know what? Today's lesson is sometimes stuff doesn't always go as it seems, and that is okay because you work with it. You work with what you got and you keep trying until it comes out how you like it. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, give a thumbs up. That's the same thing. So, I hope to see you guys next time. And with that being said, peace out. Hope you have a good day. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye!